guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I am gonna be heading for afternoon tea at the Sofitel Hotel in Auckland on the Viaduct Harbour. I've not been there before and I'm actually quite hungry. So looking forward to it. Um, I'll put details in the description bar below and a card in the corner. So I kind of really fancy afternoon tea, uh, which I know is crazy because I'm always eating afternoon tea, but I haven't had one in Auckland for a while. So I thought I'd go check them out. But one of the reasons why I wanted to go to Sofitel, Auckland, one is because it's on the water, which is beautiful. And two, the menu appealed to me. It, it reminds me of the Ritz London, uh, where I went earlier on last year. And just the way they've kind of um, designed the, the overall menu, but also a mixture of breads and various things. And I really like that at the Ritz London. So um, I'll also link that in the card in the corner and the description bar below if you wanted to check out the Ritz London afternoon tea. If you guys are new to the channel and wanted to subscribe, just click the subscribe button below. And if you like the video, it'd be great if you could like or comment and let me know what you think of this afternoon tea. I have got a playlist of afternoon teas where I kind of go around the world, check them out, give my thoughts on what I think. And I'll link that playlist in the card in the corner and in the description bar below. So the traditional afternoon tea is $75 per person and they have champagne options for the afternoon tea as well. It breaks it down into savoury options and I really like the fact they've got a variety of different breads. And then as you go through to the sweet section, I like the mix of sweet options as well. Yes, yeah, that's okay. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, great. Cool. So we'll just start off with the savouries. Um, so we have the Aura King um, salmon with our dill cream fish. And then next to that, we have our uh, Bostock chicken, so with tarragon and our gem lettuce leaf. And then next to that, we have our um, traditional egg mayo truffle. Oh, yep. And then next, we have our harmony ham that's served with an orange mayo. And then the next last sandwich is our English cucumber. Uh, it's served with uh, mint cream fresh and heirloom tomatoes. Cool. On the second tier with the sweets, um, so we have a lime creation there. It's filled with um, lime curd and lime jelly. And then next to that, we have our um, um, chocolate, minty chocolate. Um, so we are using 70% uh, Belgian chocolate. And then, and then, yep, we have and then we have our brilliant um, English financier, which is um, infused with brown sugar and it's served with. Um, With the afternoon tea, you do get an option to select two of the teas. Now I picked a Ceylon cinnamon spice tea and they bring out this timer so it gives you an idea of how long to wait. So I thought that was really useful and I've not seen that in many afternoon teas.
So this is the smoked salmon with dill creme fraiche on like a rye bread. And I really love how delicate and pretty each of the little sandwiches they provide. And just kind of bite size amounts, not too big. Just really, really pretty. I would say the rye bread probably wasn't my favorite bread of the day, but it tasted amazing. It was really fresh smoked salmon and just really refreshing and a great start to the savory part of the afternoon tea. So the next sandwich is this really dainty roast chicken with lettuce tarragon on like a seeded granary bread. Now, like I mentioned before, I really like the idea that they've actually got a different variety style bread throughout the afternoon tea. And this was really lovely. It was probably a slightly denser bread, but the roast chicken was lovely, a good amount. And I really like the tarragon within it as well. So this is the honey glazed ham with an orange and mustard mayonnaise and it's basically a focaccia bread but it's an onion focaccia bread and it smelt amazing. I really really liked this. I can't recall of a time where I've had focaccia bread served to me in an afternoon tea and I really liked it. I, I'd actually happily buy a slab of their onion focaccia bread if they were selling it. It was so tasty and I really liked the orange and mustard mayo. It was really, really good combination. My favourite sandwich of the day. So this is the tomato and minted creme fraiche on brown bread and look how pretty it is with the flowers and the presentation, very delicate. I really did like this, they put quite a lot of effort in into how the sandwiches appear. It was really tasty and actually really refreshing as well. So this is the truffle egg mayo with watercress on white bread. The white bread was a little bit flimsy compared to the other breads and I love the decoration again on the truffle egg but it is quite a large ball of egg. I would have liked it to be a little bit more kind of delicate um, not just in one big lump that's just on top of the bread but it tasted nice and you could definitely taste the truffle through it.
I just want to check. Did you get a choice of two teas? Yeah, two teas, two coffee. Yeah, can yeah. I try another tea? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. What kind of tea um, would you like? So, I'd like to try the lychee, rose, and almond. Almond tea, yeah. Sure. And that's the cinnamon one. Yeah. And could I get a different plate for my sweet? Yeah, sure. Is that okay? Sure, yeah. Awesome. Thanks a lot. So my second tea option of the afternoon tea is this lychee with rose and almond. It smelt lovely, but I would say I think I preferred the Ceylon cinnamon spice tea. It smelt both nice and tasted nice, whereas this wasn't as flavoursome for me. So this is a blackberry shortcake macaron and it's got a blackberry compote inside with like a biscuit crumb outside. Again, a really nice way of doing a macaron just to kind of jazz it up a bit as well. And it did smell amazing. As I immediately bit into it, the taste of blackberry was really strong and the macaron was just perfect. I think this is probably my favorite dessert of the afternoon tea today. The next dessert is this really, really cute, again, beautifully decorated dessert. It's this black tea infused brown butter, and then it's also got like a passion fruit curd and then like a vanilla chantilly cream on top. So very dainty. It probably wasn't my favorite dessert of the day. And I did like the fact that they incorporated the black tea within the dessert, but it was quite dense for me. So this is their donut and it's actually cut into two and filled with a kind of homemade strawberry filling. And as you pick it up, you can really tell that it's actually not very dense and kind of heavy. It feels really light and quite delicate for a donut, which I really liked. And it's not too big as well. Quite a petite size for the afternoon tea. And again, the decoration on top I thought was really pretty. As I started to eat into it, th there's a really good amount of strawberry filling. There's nothing worse than having a donut with hardly any filling and this was actually oozing out from all sides of the donut and it tasted really lovely. Not too sweet, it was just right. So this next dessert is a super pretty kind of chocolate financier. And I thought it was really, really nice. I love the extra detail they put on the kind of decorations and it just looks so delicate and it smelled amazing. You could smell the mint um, even before you tried it. So as you basically cut into it, the multiple layers of kind of like a really light chocolate mousse and then like a fudgy chocolate kind of sponge inside. Uh, and then it's kind of coated in like a chocolate on the outside. So I'm basically just cutting into it and it just is smooth as butter. It's not particularly dense at all, it's quite moist. And just the smell of the mint was just really lovely. And as soon as I tried it, you get this pop of mint just as you have it through the mousse. It's not really overpowering, it's really subtle. And the chocolate mousse is light as a feather. It's so nice, I really enjoyed this dessert. I was really quite curious about this kind of gravel effect. I think it looked like chocolate. So I really wanted to try it. And actually it was really lovely. It was basically like a crumbed chocolate. And I ended up putting it on a variety of different desserts, but I did really like it. So I'm not sure whether I was meant to eat it, but it was really tasty.
So the next dessert is this really quite exceptionally large dessert. Um, it's actually called a petit gâteau, but it, it's it's pretty decent size. I don't think I've ever had a dessert that big for afternoon tea that's come out on the tray. But it, again, it's very pretty. I love the decoration of it as well. And it's super light. It's not at all um, kind of a heavy dessert. As you break into it, it opens out through the white chocolate coating with this kind of lime jelly and lime curd throughout. And if you like citrus and you really like lime, you will definitely like this dessert. It is very strong lime in flavor. I really liked it because I really lo love lime, but it isn't necessarily for everyone. And it is quite large in size. Um, it did take me a while to eat and I did really like it, but I think maybe the portion size didn't need to be that large, I think, but really did enjoy it though. So this is one of my favourite parts of the afternoon tea, and it's the scones. Now at Auckland Sofitel, they provide a strawberry conserve and an orange marmalade. And with this one, it's a plain scone, and you get one scone per person for the afternoon tea. And you have a sea salt butter, as opposed to what you would usually get in the UK, which would be clotted cream, which is obviously, if you're familiar with my channel, you know how much I love clotted cream. But actually at this stage of the afternoon tea, I was actually getting quite full. So just having one scone was actually really nice. And when it arrived, it was warm and it's nice that it's quite a petite size. I wouldn't have wanted very large scones at this stage of the afternoon tea. And it's nice to also have a variety of different jams and kind of preserves. So I actually went for this strawberry jam and it was really nice. But I must admit, as I was putting it on the scone, the thing that was lacking for me was the clotted cream. But that is my personal preference. That's not for everyone. I'm not so much interested in the kind of sea salt butter. I would much rather have the clotted cream. But it was very nice. The scone was really tasty. So I did enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a really lovely afternoon tea. I would probably say it's my favorite one I've had in Auckland so far. It was really nice, the staff were really lovely, and there wasn't many things on there that actually I wouldn't have had again. I did really like a lot of the savory and the desserts, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.